This pandemic, I believe, taught us all two important lessons. Lesson number one is that we truly are all in this together. Rich, industrialized country as much as those poor, God-forsaken countries in what we call the third world. If the virus is spreading somewhere in a small village in Africa or in Asia, it will find its way all the way to New York and downtown St. Louis as well. And lesson number two is that we are not all endowed with empathy. I have realized that not everyone is able to feel with or sympathize with the other person's feelings, emotions, well-being. That not everyone is able or perhaps willing to think of the health, well-being and life of the people around them. Empathy, we found out, is not a universal human value. It is not a universal human virtue that we are all endowed with. I will never forget the interviews we all saw on TV in the midst of the pandemic when a young and healthy people would refuse to wear masks or social distance because they said, I am young, I am healthy, I am not afraid of this virus, even if I get it, there is 99% of chance I will be just fine. People like that showed a lack of empathy. They proved that they are not able or not willing to think about the well-being of others. And perhaps this is why for so many months our country was fighting this pandemic in such chaotic way. Perhaps this lack of empathy, this unwillingness to think of us instead of me was putting us at disadvantage compared to many other nations. We are in this together for real. And we can only conquer this challenge and many others if we come together if we consider the well-being of my neighbors as important as if it was my own well-being. Today, the Church celebrates the Most Holy Trinity Sunday. Perhaps it is one of the most challenging subjects to preach on. For as Christians, we believe that there is only one God. When we make this statement, we place ourselves in the same line with our Jewish and Muslim neighbors. Like the Jews and like the Muslim people, we are monotheistic people. Mono being one, theism being God. We believe that there is one God. But unlike the Jewish and unlike the Muslim religion, we believe that, that one God, that one divine being exists as a community of three individual persons, 
of three unique persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. These three unique persons are in such a loving, unifying relationship with each other that they are one. They are in this together. For the sake of humanity, for the sake of our salvation, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit have come together to create us, to save us, and to make us holy, to inspire us daily to follow in the footsteps of love. For after all, God is love. This Holy Trinity Sunday is not only about some very high-level theological discourse, but it reminds us that if we are created in the image of God, we are created in the image of a community. We are created to think in terms of us rather than me. We are created and shaped to live, to love, and to journey as a community. I remember a few years ago when I was studying for my U.S. citizenship test. I received a booklet with hundreds of questions to memorize answers to. And one of these U.S. citizenship questions was, what are the first words of the United States Constitution? And I learned that the, thirds, the first words of the U.S. Constitution are very simple and powerful statement about who we are as a nation. As you all know, I am certain by heart. On the front page of the U.S. Constitution it says, We the people. We the people. You see, no civil society will survive the pandemic or any other challenge unless we come together as the people, not as individuals focused only on our own survival, on our own advantage, on our own pleasures, but as a community, as the people. We in this country have survived the World War I, the World War II, we have survived 9-11, and appears that we will survive this pandemic, not because we are genius individuals, but because we, the people, have come together. Holy Trinity is a model for Christians, but it is an idea that has permeated our American language and soul as well. We, the people, are what matters at the end. For my wishes, my health, my well-being is interconnected with your health, with your well-being, with your journey. This Holy Trinity Sunday reminds us that we believe in one God who is a community of loving people and calls us 
to be such a community of loving people who care for each other, who empathize with each other, who, unlike Cain and Abel, are each other's watchers. Amen.